As the Mercury soars, the call of the surf becomes more insistent. It's still Australia's number one sport, and it looks as if it always will be. Manly's famous South Stain, packed like Coney Island Beach. All the sardines are not in the sea, <laughs> or am I wrong? Aboard a boomer, and headed for the Gold Coast. Oh yes, there's gold on them now, Sandhills. Hi, a tender sprung a leak. And Bondi, mecca of milling millions. Servicemen in New Guinea sit and dream of this. And when they get down on leave, they make a beeline for the beaches. Troops, of course, don't see much of their girlfriends. <laughs> By golly, they see quite a lot of them on the beaches. What are the wild waves saying? You ask him, I'm not game. Chubby little cubby for hubby, I hope. Marvellous scenery around Bondi. Ah, a wolf in ship's clothing. No, maybe he's just a petting officer. What you need for this business is balance. These coves could even balance the federal budget. And that's going to take some doing for the next 20 years. Surfboard riding is simple as ABC, provided you've had a good education. But they're going to be restricted. Under national security regulations, they're going to create a board to control the boards used by board surfboarders. Think them. He's seen a shark and gone down to get it. Just a small 14-footer. <laughs> Must have got away. He's back. Terrible thing to have the skids put under you. But let's away and find some big waves. War communique. A naval engagement from which two of our craft won't return. They're about to be torpedoed, bombed, mined, in fact, dumped. Surprising. Well, the other one can't get out of it. That's a certainty. They're gone. Well, what do you know about that? In that boat's a butcher, a grocer, and the milkman, which, of course, makes them the Merchant Navy. You know, surf boating would be great sport if the Allied Works Council would lend a bulldozer to straighten out the sea. When it comes to waves, we'll take ours marcelled, not permanent. <laughs>